assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and if you're just being my channel for the first time welcome to my channel my name is buddy keys and i make diy videos on modest outfits hijabs jubabs so today's story is on how to make two-piece jubab kind of like a skirt and then a jab or jubab on it so i'm like five feet two inches so you can increase the measurement that i used in this tutorial if your height is more than mine then you can reduce it depending on your height measurement also so let's get right into the video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so this is the final how to come over jubab so we should have something like this at the end of the tutorial inshallah so this just make trying it on then if you want your hijab to be longer than mine then you're going to have to use more fabric than i used because in this tutorial i use about four yards to four meter fabric then if you want longer hijab you'll be using about five yards to five meter fabric and that's about 144 inches by 60 inches fabric so the length of my fabric is about 60 inches or about 370 centimeter by 152 centimeter fabric so the first thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to fold my fabric into two so I'm assuming that's the 4 yard or the 4 meter fabric part and the shorter part is the 60 inches part. So I'm just going to fold it right at the 50 inches part. So that's basically what I did on my fabric. So I just folded my fabric into two. So after folding into two, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skirt length. So for me, my skirt length is actually 40 inches or 1 or 2 centimeter. Well, because I'm going to include the elastic at the waistband, so I'm going to add 2 inches for the elastic. So that's going to make it 42 inches or 107 centimeter. So I'm just going to mark my skirt length around. I'm going to check that out. So you can work with your own skirt length. You just take your tape from your waist to floor length. To get your skirt length measurements. So after getting it, I'm just going to cut it out. Then I'm just going to open up my fabric. So after opening it up, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an elastic opening. And if you don't know how to create this, after opening up your fabric, you just take your tape and then your chalk, then you mark two inches around. You just mark two inches or five centimeter. So that will be enough for this type of elastic. If you are using this type of elastic. So I'm just going to start marking my 2 inches or 5 centimeter. And I'm going to connect all the points. So I'm done marking. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to fold about quarter inch or one centimeter. And I'm going to take it to my chalked parts. And then I'm going to stitch all over. So I'm going to stitch it all to the other edge. So I'm done stitching it. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to take a tape that is exact measurement of my waist. So my waist is about 25 inches or 4 centimeter. Then with the head of a safety pin, I'm going to insert my elastic to the fabric. So I'm just going to start pulling. So I'm just going to pull. When I get to the first edge, I'm going to hold it down with a straight pin. And I'll just continue pulling. I'll hold it down with a straight pin. Then when I get to the other edge also, I will hold it down with the straight pin. So I'm done fixing my elastic. So what I'm just going to do now is that I'm going to stitch on the elastic at the middle part of the elastic and then I'm going to join my skirts. And the reason we are doing that is just to secure the elastic. We don't want it dancing all around. And please make sure that when you are stitching on your elastic, you are pulling it. And that is because you still want to make sure that you retain your stretchy skirt at the long run. So I'll just go ahead and stitch on that. After which I'm going to join the skirts. 
So I'm done stitching. You can see the middle points. So I stitched on it already. So I'll just go ahead, put the skirt together, and join the side. I'm going to trim off the excess elastic. And I'll just join it. So, we are done with the skirt. So, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to hem the lower parts. Or you can still overlock it. So, I'll just go ahead and hem the lower part of the skirt. So, this is the remaining fabric now. It is still folded into two. Then, the front length of my hijab is 40 inches or 102 centimeter. And then, the back length of my hijab is 50 inches or 130 centimeter. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my front hijab length, which is 40 inches or 102 centimeter. I'm just going to mark that whole out. Then after marking it, I'm just going to fold my front length or my back length. If you don't want to do this, you might just cut it out and then fold your front on your back. But for this, I'm just going to fold it on it. So after folding, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my head circumference divided by 4. So my head circumference is 20 inches divided by 4. So that's 5 inches or 13 centimeters. Then from that point, I'm going to slant my tape to 30 inches or 76 centimeter. So I'm slanting diagonally, then I'm just going to mark it. So I'm just going to connect those two points. Then after connecting, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to insert my sleeve measurements. So I will take my tape around my round sleeve. And then I'm going to divide the measurement by two and then insert it. So, I, so for me, it is five inches or 13 centimeters. So I inserted it there already. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to go in from the points. I'll go in by 5 inches or 13 centimeter. So after marking that, I'm just going to make a line to the last edge of the fabric there. So I'm just connecting the point to the fabric edge. After which, I'm going to drag my fabric, then I'm going to take the midpoint of the upper parts of my fabric, that is the front length, and then the midpoint of the back length also. So I'm just going to mark that, and then I will mark for the down part also for the back length. After which, I will come up from that line by 2 inches or 5 centimeter. So I'm just going to mark 2 inches or 5 centimeter, and then I'm going to connect it to the midpoint. Then from that same point, I'll connect it to the midpoint of the back piece. So what I'm just going to do next is just to cut out my markings. So I'm just cutting out. So like I said earlier, you could still make your hijab longer than mine. So you can work with any length you want. So I'm just going to open up that part. So after cutting out my hijab piece, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to open up my back piece. So this is my back piece. Then I'm going to place my front piece on it, right side facing each other. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to join the sides, the diagonal line we formed there, I'm going to join it. Then I'm going to join it at the other side also. Then I'm going to leave the head opening or the face opening. 
So after joining the sleeve part there, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to join the sides and then I'm going to leave the sleeve opening. So I'm just going to join the sides that way. So I'm done joining it. So this is it on the right side. So the next thing is just for us to cut the hijab cap and then cut the hijab band. So I have a fabric of 42 inches or 107 centimeter by 8 inches or 20 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do first is I'm going to fold it into two. Then after folding into two, I'm going to fold into four. Then after folding into four, I'm going to come to the folded edge then I'm going to insert four inches or ten centimeter. So after inserting that, I'm just going to come to the last edge there and I'm going to take 1.5 inches or four centimeter. After which I'm going to connect those two points. And then I'm going to cut it out. You could always make your hijab cap with the rope longer if you want. But I think between 42 inches to 45 inches is okay for the length. So for this now, the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to stitch the rope part to that edge there. So after stitching, I'm just going to turn it to the right side. So after turning, you can just use your pressing iron to press it down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the midpoint of my head opening. And that's just the midpoint of the back part of my hijab. So I'm going to chuck it out. So after chucking, I'm going to start fixing my hijab cap from the points. So I'm going to take the notched part of my hijab cap to the chucked parts. And then I'm going to pin it all. Then I'm pinning to the 4 inches part that I marked earlier. So I'm just going to pin to where I joined. So I'm pinning to that point. Then I'll go to the other side also. I'll pin to that point also. After which, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch just that point. So after stitching, I have that. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to fold the remaining part of my face opening twice and I'm going to hem it. So I'll just go ahead and fold it twice and then hem it. Then this is for the sleeve band. So this is about 8 inches or 20 centimeter fabric by 8 inches or 20 centimeter. So the next thing I'm just going to do is I'm going to take my wrist measurement. So my wrist measurement is 7 inches. So I'm going to fold the fabric into 2. And then I'm going to fold into 4. Then after folding into four, I'm just going to insert my wrist measurement and I'm going to stitch it out. So I hemmed that part already. So I'm done with my band. So I'm just going to fix my band to my sleeve opening. Right side facing each other. So I'm just opening it to the wrong side and then I'm going to fix my sleeve there. After which I'm just going to stitch it all around and I'll do the same to the second sleeve opening also. So after stitching we have this for our juba piece. 
so the last thing i'm just going to do to this now is that i'm i'll go ahead and aim the lower parts or overlock it any one of the two i'll go ahead and hem it to overlock it So this is for a two-piece jubab. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you find it helpful. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you can share with anybody that might actually find this tutorial helpful. So this is just me styling it or giving the jubab tutorial for it. So you can use it as a niqab or any style you want. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video, inshallah. And if you have any question, don't forget to drop it in the comment section. And thank you for watching my video and for supporting me. Jazakumullah uh, khairan. So, take care of yourself. Bye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.